Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful postcard perfect day here in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the oasis of freedom on this gorgeous Sunday morning, December 26, heading up to 77 degrees, I believe today. <clears throat> so guys, I'm getting ready to do something I have never done in history on Collapse Chronicles, partly because I do not have a doomsday sermon together, but uh, we are going to do a movie review uh, <coughs> on uh, Collapse Chronicles. I don't know if this is a review so much, just as a recommendation, and uh, I want to say hats off <clears throat> to good old Netflix, Netflix for uh, putting out one of the most hilarious uh, spot on comedies uh, that I guess Netflix has ever put out and that is this new movie. It was actually out in the theaters but it's now on good old Netflix and they and they produced it uh, called Don't Look Up. Don't Look Up uh, with and see, I'm so sorry, I don't even remember the director, but it's starring uh, Jennifer Lawrence and good old Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, Meryl Streep is absolutely hilarious. Kate Blanchett. Anyway, it, it, it's a great cast, and it is the greatest vindication for doomers that I have ever seen. It is, uh, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio is, I guess, as close to a big, giant Hollywood star to a doomer as we get, so I know that uh, he had to have a lot of fun in this movie. And uh, it's curious, I noticed that, uh, that Netflix has it filed away in three different categories. Three different categories. One is a social issues drama. Uh, one is comedies. And the third is science fiction. Uh, an interesting uh, collection of, of where do you file don't look up and I file it solidly in the in the comedy section and <clears throat> I, I, I am just wondering uh, you know that the great thing about satire <clears throat> so they, they're both satirizing and vindicating doomers at the same time I mean we doomers we have to be able to laugh at ourselves but who they're really barbecuing are the clueless morons, which, you know, are 99.9% .9 of the planet are the clueless morons being lampooned in the movie. So it begs the question, I, you know, I'm, I'm wondering watching this, <clears throat> is what percent percentage <coughs> of the audience <clears throat> watching the movie are clueless morons not understanding that they are the ones being lampooned in this in, in this movie I word I love that word lampoon the verb lampoon it's uh, it, it, it is a total I mean it I considered it a slapstick comedy and so you know not to give the the too much of the movie away we'll get to the ending and I'll try not to do a spoiler alert for the ending uh, we'll, we'll get to that anyway the, the the setup of the movie on the surface what it's about is an asteroid they they, they use the you know how many asteroid movies have we had with an asteroid hurtling to Earth uh, and, and killing us all and <clears throat> you know so that is the surface setup 
So I don't know, you would probably ask 99% of the clueless morons watching this movie, what was the movie about? And they would say, oh, it was a movie about an asteroid. Okay, we, we need to get one thing clear, guys. The asteroid was a metaphor. Okay, the whole movie was a metaphor using the asteroid as the metaphor for denial. That's the name of the, another way to, you know, don't look up. What it, what it is, is about, you know, the denial uh, of this planet to face the facts that we are doomed. That we're doomed, and, and, and they're using the asteroid, uh, the, the overused cliché of the asteroid, to lump together uh, all of the real threats to this planet, uh, which at one point, Meryl Streep, she plays the president of the U.S., at one point early in the movie, when you first meet her, she rattles off all of the reasons that we are doomed and shrugs them off unbelievably. I think she mentioned the word population. I don't think she went as far as overpopulation. But, you know, she, when these uh, doomers uh, played by Jennifer Lawrence and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio were trying to convince the president of the U.S. that the, this country and this planet were doomed, she, you know, her immediate reaction was to roll her eyes, at, you know, and talk about and just dismiss these doomers. She like, do you know how many people uh, I have had here in this office talking about, uh, you know, whatever, uh, global warming, sea level rise, and I think she said population and pandemics and uh, all of this other stuff, you know, taking out the planet and, and just rolling her eyes that you're just the latest doomers uh, here. I have, you know, I have the midterm elections to think about. And so anyway, the movie, it's two hours and 23 minutes. And uh, the, 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 the title, Don't Look Up, is a takeoff, uh, is a satire on Make America Great Again, is, uh, is what it is. And so the, the, the shtick is that all you have to do is look up, is look up in the sky and you will see this, uh, well, they called it a comet. It was probably more of an asteroid. Anyway, asteroid, comet, they kind of blurred those terms, whatever it was, but you could see this thing just, just in the sky, getting bigger and bigger, heading straight towards planet Earth if you simply looked up. And, of course, the president and, and the hilarious character playing Elon Musk uh, in, in there, you, you know, making a political slogan, don't look up. Just don't look up in the sky at, at this oncoming comet or asteroid or whatever and go about your business. It, it, you know, Meryl Streep is walking across the stage, you know, put one foot in front of the other. It's another day on the planet. Uh, we have jobs to think about. Just don't look up. The, the movie is about denial uh, of the clueless morons and it's about uh, you know, d d denial on every level, a and they have all kinds of fun in here. I mean, they lampoon, good God, uh, well, Meryl Streep was roughly meant to be Donald Trump. I can't remember the actor's name who played the guy, uh, you know, playing um, Elon Musk, 
the, these billionaires and, and these techno-utopians with their bullshit ideas, uh, how they were going to save the planet. They, they, they completely make a laughing stock uh, out of anyone claiming uh, we're, we're going to move to another planet. Uh, all of this techno-utopian horseshit. They, they have a little bit of fun with the Green New Deal. Not quite enough for me, but they, 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 they have some fun with the Green New Deal apocalyptimist. They have a hilarious uh, lampoon of a TED Talk. Uh, I, I mean, just that one scene about the, the, the Elon Musk character. He's the head of this uh, giant cell phone corporation. He's this multi-billionaire uh, CEO of this uh, cell phone corporation called the Bash Corporation, who completely has the you know the president of the U.S. in in his pocket. Uh, you know about how the uh, global corporatocracy uh, has the White House bought and sold uh, all of these uh, obvious uh, statements uh, and, and about how if you're a doomer, you are going to be laughed off. Uh, you, you know, you are going to, you're going to be ridiculed. Uh, you are going, uh, you're going to be ignored, you're going to be ridiculed, you're going to be merciless, mercilessly attacked in, in both the mainstream media and social media. I was glad to see that, that they, uh, they lampooned both the mainstream media and the social media. Uh, gave them an equal treatment, that it makes no difference, that if you were trying to point out something as obvious as the collapse of a planet, which of course is in that laundry list of things that the president uh, went through with that roll of her eyes and the shrug of her shoulders, which, of course, is the real asteroid or real comet heading towards here. That uh, you are, that the, the human race is going to go into denial overdrive. Uh, I mean, what stone did they, uh, you know, obviously I wish they uh, had uh, put more words about overpopulation than in one word, but you know you, you can't have everything. Uh, I mean, there's no way that uh, Netflix is, is ever going to make a movie, whether it's a, a drama or a comedy, uh, about the real comet slash asteroid, which of course is, is overpopulation. Uh, but you you gotta give them some uh, for, give them some good uh, you know again hats off to, uh, to to Netflix I mean it took some balls to make this movie uh, I, I I wonder how many studios turned it down now I, I mean obviously Leonardo DiCaprio was all over this role. And so uh, he was probably out pitching it. But my guess is several studios turned, turned this down. And, you know, every, it, it, it pretty much validates everything that uh, we down here in the Doomosphere uh, have been talking about. But, of course, the D with uh, denial with a capital D, D, D. Rob Milkarski, if you're listening to this, please would you do an, an undenial uh, post. I would love to hear Rob's uh, spin on this movie. It, 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 it's the greatest uh, undenial that, uh, that I've ever seen. Uh, you 
you know, and, and of course talking about, um, you know, what people choose to uh, focus on in their lives over the collapse of a planet. Oh yeah, then of course a big one was, uh, you, you know, these billionaires uh, making money uh, off of the collapse of a planet. A as the collapse of a planet <clears throat> gets closer and closer and closer as doomsday approaches, uh, you are going to see denial. I, 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 I mean, people digging in their boot heels. You're, you're, you're going to see distraction. Uh, all of these distractions to talk about anything going on uh, that needs to be talked about. That they, you know, of course, entertainment, sex scandals, uh, sex scandals, and, and, and these clueless bimbos, the, you know, the, oh, the clueless bimbo uh, one they have, I guess they were, I don't even know, I, I don't know my clueless bimbos, but uh, whoever the girlfriend of Kanye West is, I think, so they, they have fun with Kanye uh, and whoever the bimbo du jour is. Uh, <clears throat> But she actually pulls her head out of her ass. Is what's hilarious is the uh, is the uh, is the bimbo pop star uh, pulls her head out of her ass. Uh, so anyway, so as the movie progresses, of course, you know the comet is getting closer and closer and closer, and, and the closer it gets. The, the more the denial ratchets up. And finally, uh, in the 11th hour and 59th minute, uh, everyone learns how uh, screwed we are. You know, a tiny few people start to figure out in, in, in the 11th hour and 59th minute, and, and then it gets to the 11th hour, 59th minute, and 59th second. And uh, it, 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 I, I'm, I'm not going to give away the ending, uh, so I hope I'm not. I hope this is a, uh, okay, this might be a spoiler alert. So I'm going to give you a few seconds. Uh, if you don't want, because I'm going to tread into a spoiler alert. So I urge you to, to shut me up right now, okay, and go watch uh, Don't Look Up uh, for yourself and then, uh, and then come back and listen to the rest of this rant to see if you agree with me. So I'm going to count to five, and then I might or might not spoil the ending. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So anyway, the ending of the movie, and there's actually two endings, wait for all of the credits to roll for the, for the second ending, but, but both of the endings, particularly the first of the two endings, was one of the great endings uh, uh, of a movie, certainly the most refreshingly honest ending to one of these uh, disaster movies. Hallelujah, you know. Uh, I mean, it's right up there with Thelma and Louise, right up there with five easy pieces. Uh, let's just say uh, it was not your Hollywood ending. It was, it was an anti-Hollywood ending and it was absolutely classic and and you go Netflix I am so sorry I'm spacing out the director of this movie but uh, you know it, it, at least somebody somebody somewhere understands how hilarious this thing is that this whole thing that that if you can't laugh about the oncoming unavoidable collapse of this planet 
Uh, if you lose your sense of humor uh, as we get closer and closer and closer to doomsday, uh, you're, you're, you're going to be in bad shape, and, and you can expect a uh, as the the comet uh, gets gets uh, bigger and bigger uh, in the sky, hurtling towards planet Earth. Um, you can expect uh, a lot more of these sick, dark, ironic, twisted comedies. But, uh, but of course, 99% uh, of the people watching the movie are going to have no idea that they're even watching a comedy because they're not going to get the joke. But a few of us... A few of us do get the joke, and uh, I have to say, you know, I'm a little bit torn uh, on Leonardo DiCaprio, but my, uh, my respect for Leonardo DiCaprio uh, has grown tremendously. You go, Leo, and Jennifer Lawrence, I didn't know uh, she is, uh, Jennifer Lawrence is my new hero. And then, excuse the F-bomb, you're going to know what I mean when I close this out with hopefully the uh, new saying, We're all going to fucking die. Bye, guys. Remember, don't look up. Don't look up. The comet's coming to get you. Bye, guys.